Hi guys, myself and Kitty, this will be shown in the problem on the equal next greater element. So the next greater element of some element x in the array is the first greater element that is to the right of the x in the same array. So what do they mean by this? They are given an array 2 array, nums 1 and nums 2. And whatever the element present in array 1 are, is a subset of all present in array 2. So array 1 is a subset of array 2. So now, if they are given an element, let's say 4, let's say 2 or uh, 1. So, we have to replace 1 with the next greater element that is present to the right of 1 in the array 2. That means, next is 3. So, here, as I said, for 1, next greater element is 3. So, for 1, next greater element is 3. So, replace 1 by 3. In the same way, if you look for 4, the next element present right to it is 2 only. Is 2 is greater than 4? No. So, there is no next greater element for 4. So, you just write 1, minus 1. Similarly, for 2, it's at the end of the array. There is no more next greater element. So, you just represent by 1. So, this is what answer we need to return. So, normal basic approach could be you would take each element in array and you look for that search for that element in array 2. And until you find the next greater element over here, you just traverse. If you don't find, you replace it with minus 1. This is normal linear search. Similarly, you do for all the other elements in array 2. But the other approach is they have told in the problem that array 1 is a subset of array 2. That, that means whatever element present in array 1 are present in array 2. So, what can be done is we will just find the next greater element for all the elements in array 2 itself. So, that is for all the elements in array 1. Got it. So, the reason behind doing like this is it's easier to handle only a single array instead of combining two arrays and checking for the elements. Within the array, we can check for the next greater element because all the elements present in array 1 are already present in array 2. So, that is the approach we do. So, for finding that next greater element, we use stack. Once you have stack, initially stack is empty. You look for first element in the array to one. So push in one into the stack. So once you push one into the stack, so once you put push one into the stack, next element, next greater element to that is three, right? So next element you traverse and three you check whether that is greater than stack dot peak. Yeah, it is greater than standard peak. That means for one, the next greater element in that array will be three itself. So indirectly, we are telling that for one, the next greater element is three in the second array. But one is already present over here, no? So here only directly we can look for the next greater element. That is three. So what we do? The stack dot pop we do. You pop one that to the stack, and that will be added as a key. We create a hash map that will be added as a key and for our value that particular number that is 3. So, next pointer moves okay. Once you do this, now you have to push 3. So, next pointer moves to 4. Again, check whether 4 that is greater than stack of peak 3. Yeah, it is. So, yeah. what do you mean by that? So, for 3, the next greater element is 4. So, you add 4 and 3 to the hash bar. So, 3 will be stacked of 8. So, push that, pop that from the stack and a particular number will be the value. And now, you push 4 into the stack. So, now, you need to next point. 2. Whether 2 is greater than stacked of 8, 4, no. That means, for no, there is no more greater element present in the array. That, that that in that case, you do not add that to the hash map. So, let's say instead of 2, we have 7 also. So, you have to traverse. Since 2 is not greater than 4, next move to next element. Is 7 greater than stack of peak? That is 4. Yeah, it is. In this case, you add 4, 7 to the stack. But here, actually, there is no nothing. If there is, then you have to traverse un until you get the end of the array, until you get the greater number. If there is no greater number, then you do not add that to the hash map. So now this is the condition. Next, you move to the four, uh, 
you add more to the stack. So stack is stuck. No more stack is required. So hash map that contains 1,3 and 3,4. So out of these two mappings, we need 1,3. Why? Because that is present in array 1. We need to find the next grid element only for the element that is present in array 2 by looking at the value is present in array 2. So now how do you add replace this 1 by 3? For that nothing, you traverse in the array 1. Array 1 you traverse. And for 4, you will check whether this is present as a key in the hash map or not. Is present as key in hash map? No. Then you replace that side minus. Yes, you move on to 1. If that is present as a key in hash map, yes. The value is 3, so we place it with the value. So if that particular key is present in hash map, then a particular number is present as a key in the hash map, then you add the value in the array and replace it with the value in the array. If it is not present, you also replace it by minus 1. Similarly for 2 also, if it is not present in hash map, so you place it by minus 1. You see right on the answer. So this is the approach. So I'll just code this. So at first, uh, we will define hash map of type integer let's name it as math equal to new hash map so next will be the stack of type integer equal to new stack next let's define length in m equal to comes one dot length and in m equal to Numbs two dot length. Next, now you have to look into the travels in the array. No? Elements in the array no? two and array two. So for each number in array two, check if while stack dot Stack should not be empty. Only then you can check the stack dot peak is less than num. So we check stack dot peak if that is less than the particular number. So this means this is what I'm telling. Stack is not empty. Initially one is in the stack. Is is it empty? No, it is not an empty. And stack dot peak we check one if it is less than the three. If it is less than 3, then you have to pop that from the stack and add as a key to the map and value will be num. So this is what you do. So map dot put of stack dot pop comma num. Next, after doing this, we have to add 3 to the stack. No? So stack dot push of num. So once doing this, now you have the this combination and you have to traverse in the array 1 now. So for i equal to 0, i lesser than n and i plus plus. Now nums 1 of i will be equal to man dot get of I know you might get it. If you do not get it, default will be minus one. So get or default or nums one of i comma minus one. So at last you return nums i. Okay. Yeah, successfully submitted. Uh, if you have any notes, please drop in the comment section. And if you understood the concept, please like the button, subscribe to the channel. We'll come up with another video next section. Until then, keep learning. Thank you.